Okay, hello everybody. This is uh, just my next project I'm going to get started on. I'm just going to do a quick overview so I can get it. I'm just trying to make a shorter video. So this is the base of the uh, air compressor. This is the next project I was going to work on. That's why I bought uh, the boring head. You know, just to have a boring head, have an excuse to buy one. But this is the connecting rod. And, well, it's been setting and I'm going to have to clean this up a little bit. But this broke off. It has a little oil slinger here and it broke off. I think maybe some water got into the bottom of this. It just collected for long enough not realizing it was doing it. Uh, but that's... It's all gummed up or, you know, from not lack of oil and stuff. The rings and everything, the cylinder wall looked okay. So I'm going to roll with it and hopefully it'll work out. I don't know if I need to put a little bit of hone on it. But what I'm going to try to do is do what they normally do with... Uh, with connecting rods to treat it just like a regular engine is to you know um, face it down a little bit a couple thousands maybe from each side and then it'll close it up and then I can just uh, take the boring head and just uh, open it up and make it to the the proper size and then I can clean this up it's been sitting out and getting some stuff in it but that's my plan this is the next project this is the connecting rod the piston from this air compressor unit I'm gonna work on try to fix this. So this this is the video. Okay, after my first little intro explanation to this video, uh, my, this part of the project. Uh, this is the connecting rod for the air compressor. Just real quick, as you see it right there. What I'm gonna do is try to do this with the boring head, resurface that. But in order to do that, what they do with the engine building, uh, you know. You, V8 or small block Chevy or whatever those kind of engines they uh, shave this down a little bit and then you have to re uh, center it so uh, this is just one it doesn't spin that fast I don't believe so I don't think uh, taking out a little bit of here just to resurface is going to make much of a, any sort of imbalance problem but uh, this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple skim cuts probably take a few thousands off each side it'll be sort of oval and then I just open it up with a boring head and it should be where I need it to, as a repair. There's no bearings because this is an aluminum connecting rod and uh, and these kind of small engines they don't have bearings. This is just aluminum. So here we go. Okay. Good job. Yo. Five, try to do five on either side. Maybe I should zoom in here. I'm just kind of guesstimating. I don't. I haven't done a whole lot of this. I know how they do it, but and that wasn't seem like it was very much for a cleanup cut. I'm gonna probably do another five. I'm gonna do ten on both sides, and because yeah, you see how much galling and stuff. It ran out of oil on it. Well, the oil slinger broke off. I don't know if I'm going to try to replace something or just put a different pipe in there and run a higher oil level and let the bottom of this dump in the, dunk in the oil. I 
get a real good tip of finish with a little higher. I hope you can get back in. bunch of chunks of steel everywhere so I usually do steel even in this mill and lay the dot. I used a part of my uh, clamping kit because I didn't figure out how I was going to be able to clamp it in the vise and I didn't want to go some sort of weird sideways. I wanted to be able to, you know, almost like a fly cut on the top. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's see. Okay, well I'm going to pause this, I don't have to waste a bunch of time, I'm going to set the next, uh, bo the bottom piece up in here uh, for that. I'm going to set this in the device differently, like, see this has got all these different steps and crap, that's why I did it this way. This one I can just clamp on the outside like this and then indicate it and stuff. I'm just going to do it like this because I'm only going to take a few thousandths off, that should be able to work. Okay, took a little bit for a setup, but let's see the touch off and go. <laughs> like my, I just got down there. I'd like one of those other ones. It was like six bucks. I put WD 40 in it. Like six bucks at Harbor Freight. The little sprays are nice, but maybe it'll spray less. It does spray quite a bit when I tend to do it. Now, so can, I mostly got it for cleanup, not so much for this. Anyways. Let me grab the other piece and bolt them together and we'll take a look at them before I get to the next step anyways. Okay, so here we are. I trimmed both the upper and lower. And you probably can see it is somewhat a little bit ovalized. That's what it basically does is it shortens the hole so that way you just have to make it re-round with the boring head. That's what they do with some engine machining for anybody who doesn't know that. You know, they rebuild an engine or whatnot. So, compressor sort of has a reciprocating mass just like this. So that's what I'm going to do. I just got to figure out how I'm going to hold it because this is just cast parts. So you now, it's somewhat, I could probably do that. I don't know how I'm going to clamp it down on, on the, something like this. I maybe want to put some packing underneath. Just, it's got a, for the oiling, it's got a little bit of a, see, a, a angled taper. 
uh, like this, like a, well, kind of like a chamfer, I suppose, but the oil just gets slung up in there. It's no pumping oil, it just splashes down into the oil bath with the, the oil thing, but that was the problem, is it broke off. So now I'm just refurbishing this stuff and just going to redo this part and figure out what I'm going to do about an oil slinger, about either running higher level of oil or m maybe putting some on here, like uh, Briggs and Stratton does. This has a metal, piece of metal that's bolted on here like a flat plate steel or something comes out here with a little another little thing that comes right here and they just go together and it just like dips in the oil and splashes around in it but that's that's my next thing is I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna clamp it flat so I can I'm probably gonna indicate the this hole because that's the next machine service that, surface that I that you're gonna wanna have true with it with the piston and everything like that I gotta figure out how to how to set this up with what I got to work with